I want to share this to help everybody, okay? So, like, when Jesus went to the desert for 40 days and 40 nights and he fasted away from their negative energy, right? Satan came to attack him, which is why I go out in public while I fast. Because it proves everything the Bible says is true. They attack you. They try to manipulate you and make you do things that go against God's way, against Jesus, against his way. Which is why I shared everything tonight. Because they'll never win. It's their last ditch effort, right? For them to understand that they'll never win. They will always be defeated by God and the ones that follow Jesus' path. It's just funny because, like, one ran away, the other one sat there, and I was like, you know, I got to go. Which is, isn't that what Jesus did? <laughs> the first one, he stayed with him, blah, blah, blah. The second one, you know, stand behind me, Satan. You're nothing. What are you going to do? And he walked away. Which means, the metaphor there is, stand behind me, Satan. I walked away from you because you don't deserve my attention. You don't deserve my presence. Have a blessed night, everybody. Like, there's so many lessons in the Bible for us to learn how to deal with the evil people of the world that when you're truly connected with your higher self that sits with God, it's so easy to see through their satanic false veil. And you get to... You get to tread on them because the Bible says he blesses again with the power and the authority to tread on snakes and scorpions, liars and backstabbers. So what are y'all going to do? Do I really just need to stay? Not just me. I, it's not me. It's God. Does God really just need to stand here and like put God's foot on your neck until you die? Is that your choice? Or are you going to accept God's way and move forward in life Instead of standing there choking until you die. Your choice. Welcome to reality, people.